Composites Modeler for FEMAP is an add-in to the FEMAP analysis application. CMF is started by the icon shown here on the right hand side and it starts up in a separate window. Uh, first of all we access materials which themselves reference analysis materials already created in FEMAP. We need to add in a couple of other pr parameters such as the type of material, uniaxial, biaxial, etc. and things like the thickness and maximum shear available. Now utilising this we can create plies on the elements that we have here. Uh, we've already a number of plies already created for this model. But basically each ply references the material that we've created earlier. We reference the uh, algorithm, the uh, uniaxial, biaxial type material algorithms that are available. We select the elements, rosettes um, and coordinate systems to define a particular ply. Then we can actually display these plies in a number of ways. Here we're showing the fibre orientations and we can also select the flat pattern uh, as well just to make sure everything is manufacturable, um, all is feasible. Here we see another ply covering the whole of the beam but in a different angle. And of course we can create patches very easily by selecting the, the regions that are involved. Once we've created plies we can then determine how we use them by creating uh, a CMF layup, which is basically the sequence that we're going to use those plies in, and they can be used more than once. Here we've got a number of plies, uh, such as um, top D angle zero is used twice, and this suffix here uh, shows that it is used more than twice, three times, etc., all the way down the list when we've created it. You'll also notice when we're displaying the plies in the layup that they're all on one particular side of this ply and that's done by a creating an offset. To use them in FEMAP we need to create properties and we do this by selecting the layup and creating properties within FEMAP and that will quickly set up a number of properties and layups, composite layups within FEMAP. So here if we just select one of the uh, layups that's been created just for illustration and edit that we can see that the thickness varies very slightly due to the draping and also the angles uh, differ from the nominal again due to the draping. So once we've created those we can actually verify the properties we've got again within CMF uh, by selecting the properties tab and here we can see we've got global plies created because within our layup we specified that we would use the global ply function so that we can, can pick uh, particular uh, plies from that layup and illustrate them on a ply by ply basis as opposed to the traditional FEMAP way of looking at layers. Obviously a layer here is a combination of the patch and the reinforcements on the flange. And the third use of CMF is to actually post process results. So here we have some results already created. We've now activated them. We're actually going to put a displacement uh, plot on this model. and on our third tab here uh, we have a way of looking at each layer or each global ply and verifying the results on here. So at the moment uh, we're first looking at a criteria plot on a particular layer created in uh, FEMAP. We can select a number of layers but we can also do it on a global ply basis. So here we're selecting global ply 1001 which is just the reinforcements in the flange and now we can look at individual patches etc. Another thing we can do in CMF is to create failure criteria. We have these standard ones, plus we can actually create our own, such as the puck criteria, uh, which we can add in um, to on top of the standard. So now we've actually created a, another layer, uh, layer 500, which cont contains information about critical layers um, for these margins of safety that we've created as our failure criteria. And we can actually uh, also um, sort those on a ply-by-ply -ply basis. So obviously here we're looking at layer information. So again we can do another ply sort um, and use that information that we've just created and review our failure criteria on that basis.